Good morning. Today I'm going to be doing, well, much requested, updated get ready with me or just makeup look. Eric's sleeping so I'll try to keep it down but let's get started. I don't even remember what I usually do and this is going to be a mess but uh, recently I just got sent a lot of new products so we're going to be playing around with that today. Um, Marissa from MAC who's an angel she sent me this MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation and I've been looking for a foundation forever, one that's like pretty light and doesn't cake on. So I've been really enjoying this guy. So. Oh, I think I put in way too much. Oops. Actually, that's about right. And the nice thing is that it still looks like my skin. It's just a little bit of coverage. And it makes my skin look extra dewy. By the way, I forgot to say, but I already prepped my skin and I have SPF. Okay, and that's it. I already missed a step, but this is Evio Beauty's moisturizing primer. Um, Evio Beauty is a sustainable skincare and beauty brand. Everything is cruelty free, paraben free, all natural ingredients, and it's gluten free. So. I already forgot to put this on, but I'm just gonna put on on my eyelids and a little bit of my face. That's done. What next? Okay, concealer. Um, so I'm going in with again. It's actually a concealer from Evie Beauty, which I've been really enjoying. So. Just right where my bags are. One small swipe. I'm going in with a little blender egg thingy. What's next? Okay, so this is something that I picked up from watching Pony's makeup tutorials. So she recommended getting this MAC Wedge eyeshadow, which I've been using for a while for contouring. And it's actually... Um, it's very light. When you put it on, it doesn't look like crazy or anything. You don't have to blend it out too much. So I'm just going to put it right here. And you can't really even tell that it's there, which again is nice. Hello, Toph. Just going along my nose. I'm gonna come back to that eventually, but there's round one. I'm going in with highlighter now, I believe. Which highlighter? Oh yes. Okay, so I'm going in with this MAC O oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So just on my nose. and cheekbones. I kind of like to layer my highlighter. Um, I'm going in with this Noto Hydra Highlighter Face and Body. This looks really natural, which I appreciate. It's kind of like when you add Vaseline, but it's better. adding it on top of the areas that I already added highlighter. Um, if you're going for a really simple look, this is actually just like one dab in the middle of your eyelid. It's a really nice look as well. So I'm going to go back with um, the wedge eyeshadow, which I'm using a contour. And it's a smaller brush this time. I'm just contouring my nose more. And I like to kind of use this as a base for my eyelids as well. So I'm using another eyeshadow for my eyebrows 
Um, I'm using the MAC Omega Matte Eyeshadow. I've been really uh, enjoying a more natural brow recently. Well, not recently. I think this has just been an ongoing thing for me, but... Um, this doesn't look too heavy, which is really nice. Uh -huh. And then I'm going in with Milk Makeup's Kush Fiber Brow Gel, which is probably my favorite brow gel ever. Because I usually get this brow product everywhere, I'm just gonna use a little spoolie to fix my mistakes. I feel like they still don't look even. I actually don't know how people talk and do their makeup at the same time. This is requiring all my concentration. I think this is as good as it's gonna get today. Some days you have like really amazing brows. Well, I don't think today is one of those days. Ah, okay, whatever. Next up, eyeshadow. I've um, been using this Naked palette for a very long time. You guys have probably seen it in previous videos. So, I don't know, depending on the mood, I will either go for like a brown eyeshadow or a more pinky one. Um, I'm still using Caution and Juicy right here. Um, I kind of like blend it together and then sew it on my eyelid. Then I'm adding Caution, which is just this guy, to the bottom. Right here. Eyeliner. Okay, so this is, first of all, what is this? Max Marsala Kual Kajal Crayon. Oh my god, the writing is so small. Anyways, um... I don't really like a defined line, but more of a smudge just to bring more definition to my eyelash line. And not too big, otherwise when my eyelids get oily, they'll smudge everywhere. Okay, this is where I need my mirror real close. Okay, and then I'm actually going to go in with another eyeliner. This time it's um, a liquid liner. That's what it's called. So this is Max Breaststroke. Nice thing about this is the tip is really pointy so it kind of gets right where you want it to go. And this is just gonna just add a little bit more definition to my lash line. So I'm just going right up my lashes. I'm not filling in any of the smudging crayon liner I did before. And using that liner brush I use for my eyebrows, I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the crayon. To get something like this. Okay, uh, next up is blush. So. Still using glossiest clay, uh, cloud paint. I can't speak right now. So just a little bit onto my fingertips. I always put out way too much. Just like this much. I'm just gonna pat onto my cheekbones. Not cheekbones, apples on my cheeks. And because I love me some blush, I'm going in with, with some powder blush now. Uh, this is Max Peaches Sheer Tone Blush. What is this hair? Yeah, just another. I mean, you can't go wrong with more blush, can you? Now I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna add a little bit more contour and a little bit more highlight. Um, I like to do that after just in case I've rubbed anything away. 
Where are my things? Okay, I'm just gonna add a teeny tiny bit more highlight and I'm just going again with this Noto Hydro Highlighter. And I don't know if I said this before, but Noto is actually a really great eco-friendly beauty and skincare brand. Um, I have some other things of them. This is one of my favorites. They're multi Benny stain. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, you can use it for your blush or it's a multi-stick, so use it for whatever. But I actually really like the tone on your lips. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go into the highlighter again. Going for that real shiny, but not quite sweaty look. And I'm actually gonna go in and put a little bit at the corners of my eyes. So now onto lips. I have quite a few favorite lipsticks that I use day to day. Um, I'm also prepping my lips with Max Prep and Prime. Probably should have exfoliated my lips, but I didn't. I'm thinking that I should just try on each one for you guys, even though it's a lot of work. Or maybe we'll just do swatches on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna do that because I'm really lazy. So first off is this Noto Multi Benny Stain. So I've been really kind of liking this rustic red kind of color. Um, to go along with that, I have Dusky Nude. See, I don't even know what brand it is. Nude by Nature. Um, and this is just like a nice rose color. It kind of reminds me of my own lip color, but just a little bit more rich. This one is also nude by nature, and it's a little similar. Okay, now that I look at it, it's actually pretty similar <laughs> to the Noto uh, multi-stick favorite. Um, which one is this one? Okay, well, Max Chili is probably my favorite red, if you can see that. Um, oh, and this is... Probably the one I've been using the most frequently. This is Max Smooth Going Plenty of Plumping Lipstick. You know, I actually didn't realize what the tingling was for the longest time. I was just like, why is this tingling my lips? Okay, so it's that one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wash my arm later. And sometimes when I'm feeling more fun, I go for Max Bitten Babe Cream Lip Stain. And this will not get off. It won't probably won't come off my arm, but okay. So these are the lipsticks that I use the most often. I hope you can see them. Um, which one should I do today? Okay, I'm going for nude by nature. Oh, chili. You know what? Let's just do some. Let's go for some chili. See, 12 year olds could probably do this better than me. Okay, and then I'm just smudging. Okay, this is the best it's gonna get. You know what, before I totally forgot one step. Two steps. Okay, so I'm gonna be using, my legs hurt. Oh my God. I'm getting old. Okay, I'm using uh, Max Media Mineralized Skin Finish. Oops, got some on my thumb. Just gives me a nice glow after. Wow, I just realized I'm forgetting a lot of steps. Um, mascara. So I have teeny tiny eyelashes. I'm gonna curl it or try to curl it anyways. And I didn't do anything. <laughs> I 
mascara. I'm using Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Perfect for tiny eyelashes, long eyelashes, and non-existent bottom eyelashes. Mascara done. I can't think of anything else I need to do. Last step is Max Fix Prep and Prime. I don't use this normally for primer, but if you want like the dewiest skin you've ever seen in your entire life, this is the best final step. So I'm just gonna and then dry. And now I am finished, so let's get changed. <sighs> what to wear? Hmm. I'm done. I'm ready to hop out the door. Actually, more ready to wake up Eric and then hop out the door. But anyways, thanks as always for watching and following along. Um, I hope this video wasn't as boring as I thought it was going to be. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, video suggestions, please leave them down below. We'll see you guys next time.